So as you can see with this picture, uh, I've already got some, some sunlight that's filtering through the trees. So if I add a few rays, it's not going to look unreal. That's kind of the key to, to doing all these adjustments is you want to make it look as real as possible. You know, you don't want to make it look really fake. At least I don't want to do that. So the first thing I want to do is place my sun center. I click this and then I, I see this little icon over here. I can move that to where my sun is and you can see the sun rays and that's, that's exactly what the program does. So I could theoretically move this anywhere I want in the frame, uh, depending on where I'd want my, my rays. And as you can see, they, the AI makes it look pretty real. So here we go, we have sun rays coming in around a tree. Uh, you know, it's obviously not gonna come through the trees, so it, it knows uh, that an obstacle is, you know, what that light's gonna look like, and that's due to the algorithms that they program into the software. So anyway, we're gonna go up to here where my son actually lives, and we'll hit done. So now I can just refine the rays that I want for my effect. And so I can you know, decrease the length of the rays and the overall look, you know, how, how bright penetration, how bright it's gonna be, uh, advanced settings, number of rays. I could have a whole bunch of rays. I could have just a few, uh, sun warmth. Sun rays warmth. So just just some really fun and easy creative uh, tools to add some some real style to your pictures. So I'm just I kind of back off on this, and and so there we go. So if I hit the before and after, here's a photo that needs a little bit more help. Uh, shot this on the west coast of Scotland at sunset end of the day. Uh, you can see a lot, way too much contrast for this to be a workable image. Uh, first thing I can do is go straight to the A High Enhance tool, drag the slider up, and that brings all my details back. So we're just going to crank that all the way and max it out. Um, structure, let's, um, we can bring out some of the detail, e even more details. You see that not only does it sharpen things, actually reduces contrast at the top of the scene uh, and the bottom of the scene as well. So it's, it's pretty powerful. So we'll bring out some details that way. Uh, color, and we can pump up that sunset a little bit. Doesn't need much. Uh, landscape enhancer, you know, we're already at golden hour, but if we want to add a little bit more, just a tiny bit more twinge of yellow light, we can do that. So again, here's where we started from. There's where we finished. Uh, if we go to the, we can try adding some sun rays. <laughs> so put the sun here. Hit done. Yeah, just just dial that way back, just to just to create a little bit of a sun star, nothing, nothing over the top. So again, here's, here's before, and here's, here's our, again, here's our before and after. So yeah, again, just a few, just a few mouse clicks, a few, a few different adjustments, and we've suddenly got a much better image. Um, if we want, we can add a little bit more grit with the dramatic uh, slider. You know, again, it's just a mouse about what you're going for as, a, as an artist. You know, what, what look do you want for your photos?